and welcome to my kitchen. Um, thinking two years ago, I don't remember. I did a video, a series of videos for Mother's Day dinner, and I did steaks, and I did sides, and I did a bunch of stuff. And in this side video, I did my Sunday onions. Not too long ago, I did a video where we had Sunday onions with something else. And I linked to that video, but I realized the Sunday onions probably deserve their own video, so here it is. We're going to make Sunday onions, and this is how I do it. Um, Sunday onions, absolutely, positively, without question or substitution, must be made with Vidalia onions. Sweet Vidalia. Sweet Vidalia. If you live um, on the west coast or in the western region of the country and you do not have access to Vidalia's, then I would highly suggest that you use a Walla Walla onion, which is a sweet onion that comes out of Washington State, and that would be a viable substitute. What I do is I take the tops off of each onion and then I like to take the, of course, the outer layer of the onion off or, you know, take off as much onion until the onion looks nice. Okay, sometimes that layer just below um, there, that's better. That one didn't look so good to me. And these are so delicious, you don't, aren't even going to believe it. Don't hmm? cut off the root ball. Yeah, don't cut the root end off. Very important. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Just cut the stem end off and give yourself a good amount of surface area because we're going to need to hollow that out so that we can put our goodness into that. And then we're going to wrap it in some foil. And Rick has already heated up the barbecue. And these, is it ready to accept mm -hmm. these now? Yes. Okay. And don't leave the sticker on there either, because that'll be gross. I love Vidalia onions. They're just the bestest onions ever. And they're so delicious. And this is the time of year when you get them. Um, in the spring, you know, when the first Vidalias hit the stores, it's an exciting time. And just get that mm. off of there. Mm -hmm. Are they? These, of course, these aren't that bad, but... No, these are nothing like a yellow or white onion. Mm -hmm. Those are horrible. All right. I'm just so sensitive. Yeah, honey, you're sensitive. That's right. All right. So let me bring my board over here. What we're going to do now is take a paring knife, and I cut my butter with this, so that's why it looks like that. Okay, do not pay attention to the rings of the onion. Just kind of... We're going to want to put a bouillon cube in here and some butter, so we want to make a place to put that. Cut out a little cone. You're going to put your knife in there at an angle and kind of cut around so that, kind of like you're going to take the core out of a cabbage. That's really the best way for me to describe that. <clears throat> so, we're going to do that with all three onions. like that. And don't throw the onions away. You can use it in something. If I were going to make, if I were going to saute some mushrooms or something to go with um, dinner, then I would do that. All right, I'm going to grab some aluminum foil. I look like, like my dog died. What? I look like my dog died. Holy mackerel, honey. Double layer of foil, please. Okay, cross it right like that. And I take one Nor bouillon cube, and this is a beef bouillon cube because that's what I like. And I kind of crumble it up in the center, just like that. I'm going to take a couple of pats of butter.
just like that. Now the bouillon has a lot of salt in it already, so all I'm going to do is hit this with some pepper. Okay. Wrap this up, just like that, and then we're going to go finish these other two and we'll be back when I have Rick put these in the coals. Okay, coals are going good here. These just go right into your coals. Just nestle them in there. And how long do these usually take? About half an hour? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, about half an hour. So they need to stay under the grate in the coals for about 30 minutes. And then when they're ready to come out, we'll bring you back and we'll open one up and show you what it looks like. All right, these onions have just come off the grill. And look at that. Mmm. I promise you, these are the most delicious side to a grilled steak that you will ever, ever have. Even this outer layer here that got a little dark super, sitting next to the coals. Super delicious. It's still good. It's really oh, still good. Super delicious. Charred perfectly. And it's got that flavoring from the bouillon cube and the, the pepper and the butter. And it's just made its own little sauce. Caramelized. Oh, it's perfect. I hope that you try these onions. They are must-have for the summer. I hope that you love them. I've demonstrated them a couple other times here before, so I'll go ahead and put a recipe, which I don't think you really need one, but I'll put a recipe anyway. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. Thank you so much for stopping by my kitchen this afternoon. You can get the recipe on my website at noreenskitchen.com, and until next time, I'll see ya.